Well, back here at home tonight, a new way to get around town might cost you less, but people are asking about safety. Channel 5's Ryan Nelson tells us new opportunities for some means others are going without. It is. Maggie Sanchez is going into her second month of Lyft driving in the Rio Grande Valley. I love doing it. Like, I enjoy doing this. Lyft is as old in the valley as her experience. Right now, Lyft drivers aren't paying extra to municipalities to do their jobs. Valley taxi cabs can't say the same. Well, there's permits that you have to buy yearly, and you have to keep updating yearly. Oscar Delgado runs his family taxi business in McAllen. Soon, it could just be a part-time gig. Actually, I was on my way to a job interview. Um, since business has been decreasing, I do feel like it's responsible to try to branch out a little bit. Delgado tells Channel 5 Lyft caused him to downsize from three cabs to two. He says nearly a quarter of his business is going to Lyft. I would, I would say that about 20 to 25 percent is not far-fetched. Getting from point A to point B has never been easier. You just make a request on the app, your ride shows up, and you'll be on your way. It's who riders could be getting in the car with that has some worry. Well, I wouldn't want to be in a, alone with some random person because potentially it could be like, I don't know, dangerous. You know, you don't get in cars with strangers. Sanchez passed lift inspection before hitting the road. It takes about two weeks. They really check you, make sure you have no, you know, priors of anything. On their website, Lyft says they check for violent crimes, felonies, drug related offenses, sexual offenses, certain theft or property damages, and driving records. Channel 5 was unable to confirm how these background checks are carried out. Taxi cab drivers must complete criminal and DMV background checks through Texas DPS before being granted permits. Ryan Nelson, Channel 5 News, McAllen.